was born in San Diego, California, and I guess I would say I was raised in Kennesaw, Georgia. Each one of us was exposed to a certain thing, and my mother, uh, my brother had club feet, so she took him to dance classes, and I was younger than he was, and so that's how I started dance. But during the, all the hopscotching, I never was enrolled in dance, so I really didn't start dance until I was 11. I just fell in love with it right away. I was um, a very active child, never took naps, always on the move, so my mom was very happy to get me into something that I enjoyed. And my first dance class, I really enjoyed it, and I just, from there, it just snowballed into a career. For me, a great teacher is someone who can look at each individual dancer and make sure that for their individuality, that they are growing and evolving only for themselves because each body is different, each personality is different. So a really good teacher can bring the best out of each dancer. I think, you know, that what you're doing to become a professional dancer is you're constantly um, evaluating and evolving, but you can't get caught up in that. You have to make sure that you're evolving as an artist and that you keep your blinders on and always only think about what you can achieve and what you can do. It's, it's when you start looking at that competition is when, when all the monkeys start getting on your shoulders, which I tell a lot of the dancers that are coming up. I'm, I'm, they come in my office, I'm like, well, you need to get those monkeys off your shoulders and start thinking about yourself and thinking about how you can evolve and how you can improve instead of, you know, the insecurities, you know, because you're looking at a mirror 24-7. So you have to make sure that you're looking in the mirror with a positive attitude, not a negative attitude. The mission of the center is it's got a base of Dance for All, where anybody and everybody is welcome to come dance from two all the way up to 72 or beyond, and to teach the appreciation of dance, the, the art of dance. We have a huge community programs that uh, we teach in the schools at Park Lane Elementary, Hollis, City of Refuge, West End Performing Arts, Atlanta Valley Ailey Camp. We're very proud of that. And then on top of this beautiful layer that we uh, have for the community, we have a Another layer, which is the Academy and Pre-Professional Division, which that is by audition, and that's where you get, you know, handpicked, and that's where you groom for the potential of the professional dancer. Atlanta Ballet 2 is an extension of what we had as the Fellowship Division. So it's, it's more of a performing entity arm of the company because, and then they'll also uh, enhance the company like they're in Swan Lake, they will be in Nutcracker. But that's, that's the group that, like you saw Conservatory, who, and then you saw AB2, but AB2 is not quite ready for company, so they're being trained in this rehearsal period and their own, their, their, their own company in a way, but they're being trained to go into the company. So eventually what we're hoping and what we aspire to is to train our own company dancers in the school so they'll go through the pre-professional division, the academy division, to conservatory, to AB2, to company. That's what's fun, is to watch the evolution. Now watching them have kids and all that <laughs> makes you remind you how old you're getting. <laughs> the most important thing is you have to inspire. You have to inspire and you have to make sure that the details and the little steps are perfect, not just the big step. It's all the in-between steps that takes that student into an artist, into a professional. Mm -hmm.